boosting agriculture productivity in Asia and the Pacific is crucial to reduce poverty and support development, as more than 70% of rural regions poor people live in rural areas, and one third of Asia's workers work in agriculture. Strengthening the sector is also key to ending hunger, achieving food security, and improving nutrition. We must increase quantity, quality, and diversity of food to keep pace with Asia's shifting needs and preferences. The biggest challenge is climate change and droughts, floods, and extreme weather it generates. We can mitigate its impact in several ways by investing in climate resilient infrastructure, by using advanced spatial information systems to predict the damage, and by using crop and livestock insurance to help farmers to cope with financial losses. We can also reduce environmental effects of farming through new technologies and practices, and by reducing food loss and waste in the supply chain. One remarkable development is the growth of aquaculture. About 90% of aquaculture production is in Asia. It supports Asian consumers' large appetite for fishery products, providing animal protein. The second is new and improved digital technologies. They are helping agriculture producers and traders to obtain weather, market, technical information. They are also improving supply chain and food delivery as we have seen during the pandemic. Government policies should focus less on traditional production support and more on integrating technologies, encouraging innovations, investing in climate resilient infrastructure and modernizing regulations. They should promote mechanization, water conservation and climate smart agriculture. In these areas, public-private engagement is necessary. We also need to make sure that growth of agriculture benefits everyone, including women and migrant workers. Mm -hmm.